spiritual power and standing as our Heavenly Father, the Most High. Scriptures describe and define the Almighty as all-powerful and omnipresent, meaning in essence that he is everywhere and nigh unto everyone all at the same time. But it never, the scripture that is, describes or defines how Satan is having equal standing or power. As much as Satan would like for us to believe, it is not equal or equidistant to the power and authority of the Creator. So if the devil isn't always the thief, because the devil can't be everywhere all at the same time, it's just what? Now, mind you, the devil has minions. It has a 33 and a third uh, uh, of the angelic order that fell with him. So he has minions that can be sent, you know, and, and we translate these minions as demons and demon power that operates and tries to wield influence over us. But the devil, the devil is one entity. And thus not always the blame for the interactions that you're having in conflict in the spirit. If the devil is in Georgia or even in Eastern Europe, Georgia, then the devil can't, in fact, be in your situation at that time. The devil ain't the most high. Oh, somebody need to say amen. But some of this, this is changing some people's prism and outlook. And some of y'all, y'all might be getting uncomfortable. And it's not my fault that this has never been ministered to you. But we need to receive it and hear it right now. Amen. So if the devil isn't always the thief and you don't feel as though you're always your own stumbling block, then who or what else can represent or can be serving as the thief in our lives, working to prevent us from abundant living? This is more important, beloved, than we may realize because it's no different than trying to cure cancer with the Benadryl. You cannot be an overcomer if you, or in fact, excuse me, you cannot be an overcomer if the actual enemy that you are attempting to engage and to defeat is in a completely different location than where you are currently fighting, has a completely different name than the name that you are calling out adversarially is a completely different person than what you think or who you think you're facing. 